These Dutch undergraduates are testing what they hope will prove to be the world's fastest solar car. Their Nuna 6 model is taking part in October's biannual World Solar Challenge, a gruelling 3,000 kilometre race from one end of Australia to the other. Previous Nuna vehicles have a proven track record, as team leader Pierre van Zonveld is happy to point out. The car you can see next to me is the Nuna 6, and uh, we already made five Nunas. And with these, we participated in the biannual solar race in Australia, and uh, we won four out of five. The students have gone to great lengths to give themselves every competitive advantage. We, in the beginning of the project, measured every team member, and the best team members uh, compared to each other, uh, measurement-wise, uh, were selected to be the drivers of the car, and the car was designed around them. So, for instance, uh, the width of the hips are very important for the design of the car, and that's what we mainly selected on. Dutch company DSM built the one-seater with special carbon fibres and a brand new resin. DSM Chief Innovation Officer Rob Van Leen. With a unique combination of our terrain resin and special carbon fibres, we were able to increase the rigidity with 25%. And therefore, this new Nuna 6 has 10% less drag than its predecessors. And as a consequence of that, it has less vibrations and goes faster. The World Solar Challenge is ultra competitive, with dozens of international teams from technical universities and colleges competing. Cars will cross Australia from north to south, starting in Darwin and finishing in Adelaide. Solar panels on the car's roofs captured the sun's energy and converted into electricity. The technology isn't without problems. The cars can't store enough power to travel more than short distances when not in direct sunlight. But with each year, the solar power systems are improving. And as the race nears, the Nuna 6 team say they're preparing for victory and yet another day in the sun. Jim Drury, Reuters.